Welcome back to Talk Back. We are talking to Dr. Farooq Sattar. Doctor, why has your leader assumed a foreign nationality? I think there is a process of granting uh, the status equivalent to citizenship in UK. Uh, it is their law that a person who has been staying there, it was not that he applied for that. He just only... He just got it. He just wanted the travel document. Do you think it's patriotic that your leader has become a British citizen? He just only wanted to show that a leader who is the only leader, unique um, from the middle class and the genuine uh, oppressed and the downtrodden community in Pakistan. Name yeah. a politician anywhere in the world yeah. who voluntarily leaves his or her own country when he or she is in government and who voluntarily becomes the citizen of another country when he or she, when he or she is still in government. Uh, That's rather strange, sir. Look, uh, Imam Khomeini, uh, his, uh, he had not relinquished or given up his uh, citizenship, but he was there. He was in France for 15 years. Prophet Muhammad, peace be upon him. He had migrated. He had to left uh, Mecca for Medina. No, and that's before not that my from point. Habsha. Prophet Muhammad was not in government. No, he wasn't. He was forced to leave. But Imam Khomeini was forced to leave. The conventional establishment of Pakistan, which does not want the ad hocism and the status quo. Uh, you have a you have a governor in power. Number one. You, number have, two, you have a Nazim number in two, power. Number two. It's the, your city. And number two, the it's religious your, it's your religious province. military. Is the MQM so inefficient that it cannot guarantee it can stay in power and not guarantee the security of its own leader? Because I think I have more than explained that what does, uh, what is the difference between by being in power and by being in the government? By what authority do you have the six percent of the mandate in the process of trying to become a full-fledged national level political party and yet a 12th May conspiracy coming in your way? So I think people of Pakistan, I think very clear, can very clearly see through that what uh, 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 the, uh, or what kind of the odds that MQM has to. But all right, let's, let's move on. But, so, but your but, leader has moved around. But, he, he does travel around. He still, he still goes around. And he, he only and had been to India uh, in 2004 for the Hindustan Time Conference let's, uh, let's once talk, only. Let's, let's talk once about that because been. when he was in, in, in India for exactly the, that conference. The Central Coordination Committee has said, been stopping him to come back. He but said, he wants to return. He wants to serve his he people. He went to India. And he's the only. And out of all places, out of all the places in the world where he could go, he did go to India. And you know what he said? He said that Pakistan was dead at its inception. I, I think uh, this is a complete... Uh, uh, it's been recorded. No. Altaf Hussain, who leads the last political party in Pakistan, gave a speech in New Delhi recently in which he said the idea of Pakistan was dead at its inception when the majority of Mus Muslims chose to stay back after partition. A truism reiterated in the creation of it's Bangladesh like, like in 1971. Your leader does not it's understand. Like, it's like you're citing... Does not, he does it's, not it's agree like, with, the, with, the, with the concept of this country, It's sir. like you're seeing that a glass is half empty and half full. It's like that you're cite, reciting... Uh, a, a one verse of the Quran and not the what 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 actually followed after that. He said, "Had I been present the time when this Pakistan movement was going on, like uh, the religious leaders at that time, who did not agree to the division of the United India, I would also because if I I knew that what uh, what is going to happen to the people of these two countries that these two not two independent neighborly countries were going to come into uh, into into existence. So he goes to India but, and but he tells them, he, "You have been right all along. No, the two nation theory. No, had, he did not say that. Is dead at its he did not say that. He said that had I knew, had I known that the two enemy countries, the way those two countries after the independence by their establishment were made to become, that they had to fight for thousand years." Allow me to read some more words out yeah. to you. What we want is not talk about Bengali, Punjabi, Sindhi, Balochi, and Pathan, and so on. They are, of course, units. But I ask you, have you forgotten the lesson that was taught us 1,300 years ago? You belong to a nation now. You have carved out a territory, a vast territory. It is all yours. It does not belong to a Punjabi or a Sindhi or a Pathan or a Bengali. It is all yours. You have got your central government where several units are represented. Therefore, if you want to build up yourself into a nation, for God's sake, give up this provincialism. You know who said this? I think you are referring to Qaeda as a moment. That's right. Yeah. You have an onus to allow me to speak. I'll, 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 it's the 18th Amendment Constitution, no, Vishay, uh, uh, Constitution Bill, Constitutional Amendment for Providing Complete Autonomy to the Constitution. Provincial autonomy is signed for non. Where I direct the spirit of the dicta dic dictum that be jeweled all the national documents, all along that used to be a spearhead 
of uh, the spirit behind creating Pakistan, Qaid Azam Muhammad Ali Jinnah, right from 1940, 24 to 46, I'm not Quoting all his quotations, I've got, you've got only one, I've got one, two, three, four. That's very all India. Sir. But that, we have that, to move on. Did all India, I'll it? just like to read one. Uh, the federating units of the national government would have all autonomy that you will find in the constituent constitution of United States. Federating units means those, the, the states, the provinces, or the uh, constitutions, constitutions of the USA, Canada, and Australia. But certain vital powers will remain vested with the central government, like the defense affairs, the foreign affairs, the currency, major finances, and to a certain extent, the communication, such as the monetary system, national, as a Qaeda as a Mamdul 8th of November 1945, while he was giving an interview to the Associated Press of America, and then All India Muslim League, all annual conventions from 1944. But then explain this the to 1940 me, sir. resolution, I this is one. I understand, I and I respect that. I respect that, but yeah. what about this? You have an answer to this one. Mm -hmm. My description of the partition as the gr greatest blunder in the history of mankind is an objective assessment based on the bitter experience of the mat masses. <laughs> and about provincialism, he said, while the Qaeda ka is appealing everybody not to be provincialist, I just want you he said when everyone else had a province, we said the Muhajir should think, have one too. I think it was only for the historians who are writing history of Pakistan. Who are the academicians? Just see it into the academic and the historical perspective. Just don't see it in the pragmatic and the realistic approach. There were people who had opposed Pakistan. Maulana Maududi of jamaat e islami the Devant uh, movement, J-U-I. Earlier, all I'm along sure Mr. Jinnah wasn't a big fan of him either, sir. Yeah. But he created no. this country. But what actually now MKM, MKM is and saying MKM all along, is not for it. MKM is actually for Qaeda Azam Muhammad Ali Jinnah's Pakistan, the dictum that be jewel, all the national documents and all the annual conventions of all India, what actually was made to show and present. We're talking to Dr. Farooq Sattar, the deputy convener of the MQM. Keep watching. Talk back.